Hello students, welcome to the digital electronics session. We are going to have the discussion of the previous year questions. In that, we are going to focus now on a topic of essential prime implicants. Because related to this, in these days we are getting the questions frequently. We have to understand first what is prime implicant and what is essential prime implicant and based on that we are going to solve things here by taking a previous year question. Here first of all, let me take the help of an example here which is already asked question. Here they give like this a question here. Of course, they are giving in the form of here. We are having here, this is the way, like this here, there is a K map, A bar, A, B bar, C bar, B bar, C, B, C, B, C bar, this is 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7, 6. Of course, here the question is given not in the form of K map, they give just like this, F equal to sigma small m. 0, 1, 2, 6, 7, like that they gave. So, by giving this one, they are asking what are the essential prime implicants in this, they are asking. Then, how to make it 0, 1, 2, 6, 7. So, here 0, 1, and this is 2, 6, 7. Here we got it. First of all, let me consider all possible groupings in this, because all possible groupings are actually treated as prime implicants. So, here this one I am taking a group here which we can have this is nothing but A bar B bar for that 0 1 we considered here like that only. Let me take this one as a group all possible groups let me take first then I will make the analysis of this and how to get the essential prime implicants from that we will have the discussion. Okay? Right. This is nothing but what we can say A bar C bar for that one we are taking 0, 2. That means, I am just keeping here the identification of 0, 2 cells I used here. Like that it is nothing but what we can say is B, C bar. That is nothing but 2, 6. And it is nothing but we are going to say as this is A, B. That is 6, 7. So, these all are the possible groupings we are having. What is the meaning of prime implicants? Yeah, prime implicant is nothing but all possible groups, all possible groups in a K-map, all possible groups in a K-map. But remember one point is very important here, there is a quad, in that I will take the pair, 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 pair like that sir, no it is not allowed, always the grouping should be done from higher ordered grouping to the lower ordered grouping. I will explain what is the meaning of the higher ordered grouping to the lower ordered grouping for the meaning of that. If there is a chance of octet, we should take octet only. In that octet, we should not take the quads. And when you are having a chance of quad, then we should take the quad only. But we should not go for the pairs in that when octet is not possible, I am saying. If octet is possible, you should take the octet only. If octet is not possible, go for the quad. But in the quad, you should not take the pairs again. And when the quad is also not possible, then you go for the pair. And if the pair also not possible, if a single one is there, then you have to take that one individually, that corresponding min term. So, this is the way always the higher order to the lower order. In that manner only, you should take the grouping. In that manner, when you are taking the groupings, those are treated as the possible groupings and those are known as the prime implicants. That is the point. Now, in these four, then what about the essential prime implicant? Yeah, let me say that. This is said to be the essential prime implicant. Why, sir? Why? Because in this one, we are having two ones here. Carefully observe, here are having two ones. In these two ones, this one is there which is having the chance of only one time grouping is possible. 
that means this one is able to get the grouping only with this one and this one is not having the chance of getting the group one more time. So, by this one because of this particular one this group is treated as essential prime implicant. Sir that is ok, but what is the definition of essential prime implicant? How to identify it? Yeah, we have to check a group if in that at least we are having a single one in such a way that if it is having the chance of only one time grouping that is if it is able to be grouped with uniquely, uniquely means only one type of grouping only there should be one chance for the grouping and such type of one at least a single one is there in a group we will call that one as essential prime implicant. That means this particular one based on this, this group becomes as essential prime implicant. Like that only let me say this particular group because of this one is going to become as essential prime implicant. Why? Because here if you check it by this one, this one is having the chance of getting the group by this one only, but this one is not having the chance of getting the group by another one here. So, it this one based on this, this particular group can be treated as essential prime implicant. Sir, then what about this particular things? Yeah, this particular group is not at all essential prime implicant. Why sir? Because this one here having the chance of getting the grouping by this one and this one here having the chance of getting the group by this one like that only this one is having the chance of getting the group here and also this one is able to get the group by this. So, what we can say here is very interestingly here this one and this one these two particular group these two ones are having the chance to get grouping more than one time because this one is able to get the group here that is one time and this one is able to get the group by this also that is twice like that only this one is able to get the group by this one one time and this one is able to get the group by this also that is twice another time. That means among these two ones we are not getting any single one in such a way that it is able to get only one time grouping. It is getting the chance of more than one time grouping that is why everyone is getting the chance of getting grouping more than one time that is why this particular group is not treated as essential prime implicant it is only prime implicant that is enough. Sir what about this 2 and 6 wala this particular group in this group also focus on these two ones now we will discuss we will focus on these two ones this one and this one if you focus this one you know already it is having the chance of two times grouping one is it is able to get the group by this one and this one is able to get the group even by this also that means this one is failed to say as a EPA based on that and if you focus on this one this one is also having the chance of getting the grouping by this one one time and this one is getting the chance of grouping by this one also another time that means among these two ones of this particular group among these two ones of this particular group there is no single one which is having the chance of only one time grouping every one is having the chance of two times grouping like this one is here and here and this one is here by this one and by this one like that every one of this particular group having the chance of getting the group more than one time that is why this is also not treated as essential prime implicant. So, only these two can be considered as essential prime implicants are able to understand this. So, that EPI essential prime implicant it is a prime implicant only which is having at least a single one in that group which is uniquely grouped which is uniquely grouped that means it is able to be grouped by only one time that is the thing understood right.
Thank you.